hi everyone welcome to my channel and today you guys I want to come in and show you a few products I thought about doing another makeup look but then I thought well I'll do that maybe another um, maybe next week um, it's something that I found out you know I had done that makeup look on the Bitsy cosmetics the eyeshadows and I was telling you how it was hard to get great pigmentation. Well, what I tried yesterday really, really helped. I want to mention this in case any of you have bought those eyeshadows or you're thinking about buying the eyeshadows. Now, they are pigmented by themselves. As you can tell, there is enough pigmentation where you can see the eyeshadows. But i tell you what really stick the eyeshadows out that will really, like, really, really make the eyeshadows look really great. I used yesterday, um, I went to the park with my daughter yesterday. But anyways, throughout the heat and all that, it was hot yesterday. I was able to use, well, I used, I wasn't able to, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I used on my eyelids to bring out my eyeshadows those bitsy eyeshadows i use the nyx eyeshadow base this one is in white i did use this and i felt like maybe if i use a white base as you can tell i've used it if you look inside there you see the eyeliner and stuff eyeshadow uh, color in there but i use this clear white base on my eyelids and then I applied the Bitsy um, eyeshadows, and you guys, it really made a great difference with the pigmentation. Like, something about the white base, it really brought out the colors. Now, you can also use the NYX uh, Jumbo Eye Pencil in 604 Milk. You know, this one, everybody usually uses this one. This will work just as good, if not better, with those Bitsy eyeshadows. Um, that I mentioned to you all. So I want to make that clear that you can get those colors to stick out a little bit more pigmented. You just need a white base, like a white eye base, eyeshadow base. It works, okay? It brings it out. And I got a message from someone, and I will go ahead and uh, also send a message back to her. A person had asked me what color was my lipstick in a video I had done I think yeah it was a year ago like early part I think I didn't look at the time when I got the message yesterday evening um, but it was on those W7 palettes I had mentioned to you all um, yeah I think the lipstick the person that asked me what lipstick color did I have on that they really liked the color um, I had used, if I'm not mistaken, at the time I think I had purchased the Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks, like this, and I can't remember which one I used. It's one or the other, and I'll, I'll show you on my hand right here. This one is in the shade called Matte Adorable, okay, um that one looks like that okay this one is matte adorable okay i either use that one or i use this one once again it's the jordana modern matte lipstick this is called matte popular and i believe it's this one that i used uh but we'll see or i might have mixed both of them that's matte popular so i'm thinking it probably was this one the matte um adorable not sure but at the time i think i was wearing these jordana lipsticks a lot and i might have topped it off with a nyx butter gloss okay because the lipstick was kind of glossy these are more matte so i'm thinking that's what i had on or either I had on the LA Colors, um, what are they called? The LA Colors Liquid Lipsticks. Um, it could have been one of those, uh, that pink shade. I have a video on those uh, liquid lipsticks by LA Colors as well. It could have been that pink shade, but I'm thinking it was this right here. This 
Modern Matte uh, Lipstick by Jordana in uh, Matte Adorable. I believe it was that, and then I just topped it off with a NYX Butter Gloss. If I'm not mistaken, it's so long ago, I forgot what I used. But I think I used one or the other, if not, mix those two shades together and added the uh, NYX Butter Gloss. Um, yeah, on top of it, okay? I think, okay? So that's for the person that sent me the message about what lipstick I had on. And so, yeah, I want to show you these two products. Now, I don't know if uh, the Wet n Wild products is in every Dollar Tree store around. But at my Dollar Tree, there are some Wet n Wild products there. You guys, they have the highlighters. They have the eyeshadows. And so, um, I went ahead and got these two. However, I already had this palette right here. It's the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow. This one is in the shade, uh, I think they just come in nine, uh, numbers, not names, but numbers. This one is in A030. Uh, this one right here. Maybe the shade is on the back. Let me see. This one I do not have. I just thought the colors were really pretty. Um, so, you know I love Wet n Wild products. There's no secret about them. Um, but, yeah, let me check the back of these real quick. Well, at least one of them. Yes, the center stage. Let's see. The Center Stage Collection, and this one is called Bulletproof Glide. Yeah, this one is called 34278 Bulletproof Glide. That's what that one is. And I'll open up the other one. I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody got these palettes, but hey, at Dollar Tree... I think that's wonderful that these products were only a dollar. So why not get a backup of these eyeshadow palettes if you find them at your local Dollar Tree. Um, this one right here I do have already. I guess this will be a backup uh, product. This one is in the shade A030 Duchess Lounge. Duchess Lounge A030. That's what that looks like. So you have like, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five, five shades. I do like these, uh, but you do have to use a good bit of primer, but it they do work and I do collect these. So I'm glad to have this one here because I didn't have that particular palette. Okay, so now I can get into my video, what I wanted to do today, okay? First of all, I was going to come back and do a makeup look, and then I thought, hmm. And then I thought that, well, nah, I want to do a makeup look this week, maybe next week, and I'll show you, or either I use one of the palettes that I haven't showed you, like those, um, what are they? The Ellen Tracy palettes that I bought, I haven't even done a tutorial using those palettes yet, so... You can look forward to an um, eye makeup look or a tutorial or makeup look or something like that using one of those palettes. But today I'm going to show you some great eyeshadow bases. I might have mentioned these, but I don't recall mentioning these particular eye bases. I feel like eye bases sometimes can really work. Can come in handy when you just want one eyeshadow shade on your eyelid and also, sometimes eyeshadow bases can be used for highlighters. So, I wanted to show you my favorite brand of eyeshadow bases. I have a lot of favorites, but this is one of my favorites, and I mean, I grab them a lot. They are the Flower Beauty um, Color Play Cream Eyeshadows, okay? They look like this, but they are in new packaging now. They, have, they look like this now okay new packaging but I still have these ones and they are still good okay these are perfect for like I said an eyeshadow base you can apply this to your eyelids then add an additional eyeshadow or you can wear them alone however they may crease a little bit into the um, crease or on your eyelid 
or you can use these and actually smudge them out on your lower lash line they are pretty that way and some of them are great for um an highlight on top of the cheeks so i'm just going to show you my collection of these i have one two three four five six seven eight i have eight of these i will show you these uh, swatches on my hand so you can see what they look like I absolutely love them now this one is in the shade CE11 orcharding around that's the name of it hopefully that focus okay orcharding around um, this is one of my favorites I just absolutely love this shade look, look at this you guys this is absolutely fabulous it's like this deep violet purple violet shade is very beautiful i swatched this one and i didn't even bring my whites but i'm gonna swatch this on my hand and you'll see how pigmented this is look at that isn't that gorgeous i have done a few makeup looks using this one um this one is one of my favorites i absolutely love it and this one is called orcharding around so it's like a purple orchid color i'm thinking so it's kind of gray it's kind of got a gray base but it has a purple in it too so that is very beautiful and it makes it creates a beautiful like using this shade will create a beautiful smoky eye i've created several smoky eye looks using this shade right here absolutely love it it's one of my favorites um this next one is i'm just picking them okay this is a in a shade called CE2. Um, this one is called Good as Mary Gold or Mari Gold. I don't know. It's M A R I Gold. Okay. This one is absolutely beautiful when you want a bright eyelid color or either a bright eyelid base shade for, for a highlighter type of eyeshadow it is very beautiful you guys i'm going to show you what it looks like oh my god look at that it can even be used as a highlighter that's one of them that could be used for a highlighter but yeah you guys that one is in the shade what did i say good as mari gold ce2 that's it right there that really bright yellow golden type of shade kind of creamy golden to me but that is very very beautiful with the highlighter eyeshadow i think um i have this one that is called uh oh i don't see the name mm, i don't recall the name on this one this one is the deep shade it's like a deep brown shade which you can tell i really love this one uh, this one I like to use for a base to stick out my eyeshadows, especially vivid eyeshadows like blues, greens, purples, yellows, just whatever color you want. They are very, very beautiful. If you apply this first, it just sticks out the eyeshadows, just looks so beautiful. But this is a deep brown and you can use it alone or, um, or create a smoky eye with this one and they are creamy as you can tell as I apply it to my hand they are very very creamy and they do last okay they do last on the eyelids so they, yeah you guys that is very beautiful and it's just awesome it's creamy look at them they are like metallic looking this one is more matte the other two is more like metallic this one is metallic and this one is more like a satin type of uh, formula in my opinion but yeah let me keep it going so let's go to the next one this one is in the shade CE uh, I don't know the number came off of it all right this is in the number CE9 flirty flore or floret flirty floret or flore <laughs> I don't know but this one is one of my favorite. All of them is my favorite. This is like a golden bronze type of color. It's like brown bronze golden shade. Absolutely beautiful for those bronzy uh, makeup looks or those bronzy um, 
or a bronzy highlighter look. It's very beautiful. You guys, look at this, how creamy it is. Look at there. It is so creamy and just so easy to apply to the lids. There we go. There's the bronzy shade right there. Very, very beautiful. Very pretty. Love it. It's gorgeous. Um, I love it on my eyes. You can use this as a highlighter. You can even bronze up with this. I have uh, kind of bronzed up one time with it. It wasn't too bad, but it's, it's okay. You know, but it's very pretty on the eyes for a bronzy look. This one is like the first one. It's more like a satin finish to me, but very creamy, okay? And one thing I want to say, as it dries, it sets really well, um, but it's still a bit moisturizing. Uh, so I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, as you see, these three here has been on my hand for a while, but look, I can still extend that color. A bit like smudge it out so they are very moisty look at that very moisty um, it's except for the satin ones the, the satin ones kind of stay put but you can still smudge them out a good bit all right so let's go ahead and grab another shade this one is called CE8 awesome blossom love this one Okay, so this one is like that purple, um, but it's not a deep purple. It's like a purple, let me see. I haven't used this one in a while, so let me see how it looks. I know it has a purple color too. It's like purple. Um, I think it's just a plain purple. Yeah, it's a purple, okay? Uh, but it's not like a bright and vivid purple. It's kind of purple and bronzy together to me purple maroon bronzy color which is very beautiful if you have brown eyes or blue eyes whatever color eyes you have it looks beautiful to me on everybody but this is a purple bronzy maroon color i absolutely love this uh shade yes very beautiful easy to blend as you can tell they're not hard to um you know blend Here's another one in the shade called, uh oh, I don't see the, the name of this one. Mom's the Word. Mom's the Word. This is one of my favorites. I think I've used this in a lot of tutorials. It's like that uh, frosty or ice pink shade. It's a great base for many eyeshadows. I use this a whole lot. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just that frosty pink shade. There it is. As you can see, it looks frosty. But it is a great highlighter as well. On top of the cheeks. If you're going for a pink highlighter type of shade on top of the cheeks, it's gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful shade. I've used this alone. I've used it uh with like applying eyeshadows on top it's just fabulous i grabbed this one a whole lot the next one is also a favorite you can use this one as a highlighter it's called wild geranium okay i don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's called wild geranium and this one is a favorite as you can tell i've used a whole lot of this one like a lot this one is like one of my favorite bases. Um, I'll put it right beside the other one. This one can be used as a highlighter on top of the cheeks. Uh, this one is beautiful. It's like that champagne color. As you can tell, it's a bit frosty. It's a bit highlighted. But yeah, you can use this as a highlighter as well as an eyeshadow. Love this as an eyeshadow base more than anything, but it can be used for a highlighter. Love that shade. I just love these eyeshadow, um, these eyeshadows by Flower Beauty. Um, they're just beautiful. 
this one right here is a new one this is in the new packaging this is what they look like now i grabbed one shade this one is in the shade called ue1 sheer buff that's what it's called sheer buff and um this one is not a favorite but it's okay I feel like this one looks good only with a blue or black eyeshadow into the crease for some reason. Um, that's just what I feel. I can't use it with a whole lot of shades because I feel like it just doesn't go right or look good. Uh oh, it came out of the pot. <laughs> I think the last time I used this when it fell out of the pot in the tutorial. Okay, so yeah there it is right there this one is in sheer buff so you see what i'm talking about like this one looks good with a blue shadow into the crease or a black shadow into the crease and a brown shadow as well but i feel like you have to have a deeper tone shade to go into the crease for this one to work it's just like that it's not my favorite in other words it's 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 like that what is that called um I don't know what the shade is called but it's like a pewter shade i guess but yeah all right you guys that is all of the um flower beauty color play cream eyeshadows that i have i love them i use them a lot for eyeshadow bases once again i use them sometimes for a little bit of a highlight on top of my cheeks just beautiful beautiful eyeshadow bases and i wanted to share with you all in case some of you may not know of these eyeshadow bases you can purchase these products at uh, walmart if you're wondering they have a, a great selection of these so yeah i just want to show you these make wonderful bases you can wear these alone if you're just going for a quick eye makeup look just apply this on the eyelid it's beautiful okay or if you want to just whatever they are just beautiful they're metallic they're a bit matte certain shades some of them are uh kind of satin some is a little glittery um yeah you see it some even go can be used for highlighters as you can tell okay so yeah you guys that is my video for today so i just wanted to share that with you all so yeah you will all know that these are some of my favorite eyeshadow bases that i like to use and um all right so i feel like that is the video you guys i just want to come and share that with you all and next week most likely I will do a makeup look on this channel um, using the new um, those new palettes I have mentioned on my blog page uh, the Ellen Tracy palettes most likely I will use one of those and create a makeup look as well and so yeah I think that's about it so I need to let y'all go it's like I don't want to let y'all go okay I just got some good news you guys it's amazing it's amazing because everything that has been surrounding this week or the past few i say a month or so and i just got the most wonderful invitation ever um i am so excited i finally got asked to do a collaboration um so i'm just so excited i'm a little nervous because i've never been asked to do a collaboration type of thing but the collaboration or the collab is going to be fabulous i feel like it's going to be fun so i am working on that and yeah you guys i just i'm very excited i'm happy i know some of you might say well so what i've done collaborate well i have this is the first time and to be asked to do a collaboration or to collab with someone um especially the collaboration that invited me to collab i am very happy you guys i am very excited it's amazing how sometimes you can feel like you know you can feel terrible you can feel mad or whatever and then you just get this great opportunity you know just god makes ways and 
you know you never know what could come your way so i'm very excited about the collaboration and all and of course i will let you all know i've got i'm gonna tell my other channel or the my subbies on my other channel about the collaboration but i'm not gonna speak of it yet but once it's done i will speak about it so so far i'm with it okay <laughs> i just hope i don't get so nervous that i just like like bum out of it you know like i just not bum out of it but i hope i don't get so nervous that i just like oh, i can't do this because sometimes i can get tense with things like that and especially it being my first time you know being asked to collaborate so i'm nervous i really am but i'm also very excited and happy and just seem like everything's getting in line everything's just going the way it should go i mean i'm just so happy at this time um being on youtube and happy about my situations and how things turned out once again things are doing good so far so i'm very excited very pumped up for this collaboration or this collab so yeah you guys i'm gonna let you go so i hope you all have a wonderful day and have a wonderful evening stay positive stay motivated and yeah and you know you is beautiful and you stay that way always no matter what you stay beautiful okay all right okay you guys